Hi all. Welcome to EIESB Mule 4, 4 minutes videos. Today we are going to learn about Salesforce Connector in Mule 4. Let us jump into the application development. Open any point studio and go to file and click on new Mule project. By default Mule 4 doesn't have Salesforce and file modules, so click on add module at the bottom of Mule palette and click on add extension. To add the Salesforce and file connectors, and then click on OK. Then drag and drop the HTTP listener connector, from the Mule palette to the design canvas, to get the requests for your service. Click on new connector configuration and basic settings to provide host, port. Click on test connection. If the port is not in use then you can see the test connection successful message and click on OK. Provide the URL path for your Salesforce service. Drag and drop the Salesforce query, all connector from the Mule palette onto the design canvas to get the Salesforce account details. Earlier Mule versions have only one Salesforce connector which can be used for both inbound and outbound properties based on its position. But in Mule 4 version Salesforce module has different connectors based on its operations like create, create job, delete, update, upsert, query, query all, retrieve, search and so on. Click on new connector configuration and basic settings to provide the username, password and security token and click on test connection. If the user credentials are true then you can see the test connection successful message and click on OK. Write the select query in the Salesforce query field. Since there are multiple records in Salesforce account, drag and drop the for each loop to iterate the records. Drag and drop the transform message from the Mule palette onto the design canvas to convert the result dataset into structured JSON format. DataWave have a beauty to create a schema based on the given example data. Now map input with output. Let us use a file connector to store the SF account details in a particular location. Drag and drop the file write connector from the Mule palette onto the design canvas and click on new connector configuration and basic settings to provide the working directory and also provide the path. Keep write mode as append to append all retrieved account details into a file. Now go http underscore listener and change the responses as success. Right click on design canvas, click on run as Mule application. By default Mule 4 downloads the required artifacts from Maven repository. If your application is free from errors then you can see the application gets deployed message in the console. To send a request to your Salesforce service go to Postman and give the service URL and click on send. Now check the response as success. Now go to the configured output file location and check the file have the fetched Salesforce account details. That's all for this video. You will see some other interesting demos in next videos. For any queries please reach us at meal4beta at eiesb.com.